Today, I'm going to share with you how I became an artist in hopes that you'll be encouraged to pursue art as well. Let me show you guys something really cool. This was my first original character that I drew digitally and that was about 8 years ago. It took me 4 hours to make this. 3 years ago, I tried drawing it again just to see how much I improved and those sketches on the right side took me about 20 minutes. So now I'm going to show you guys my process of drawing and basically just finishing the artwork that I started all those years ago. And while I do that, I'm also going to share with you the three main philosophies that really helped me get to where I am today as an artist and also as a human. The first one is that there are no right or wrong ways of doing things, just better ways. By no means is the way that I'm showing you right now the right way or the only way and it's probably going to change in the future. But this is just how I do things and it's what I'm used to right now. So a little bit of a background, I started getting serious about drawing around age 13 and that's when I first got my tablet. That was also the youngest age you can be on DeviantArt and honestly I got my start because I was inspired by everything everyone else was making online. So how did I get my start? Well, you have to first find the right software. So right now, I'm using Fire Alpaca. Fire Alpaca is a free software that works on both Mac and Windows, and I believe it's the closest thing to Paint Tool Sci. I actually got my start on Paint Tool Sci, and a lot of artists online do that as well, or use that as well. So why did I stop, you might ask? Well, practically speaking, Paint Tool Sci didn't work on Mac, so when I got my Mac, I literally stopped drawing for a year. Because I was too lazy to turn on my Windows computer, I just took a very long break. <laughs> so I was itching to draw and I did try out a lot of softwares like GIMP and Photoshop and so on, but they were all either too complicated to use or they didn't produce quality enough artworks. Later I would learn my second philosophy that it's not about the tools, it's about how you use it and this applies to both traditional and digital mediums and just things in general that aren't related to art. But honestly, I wasn't that great and I really preferred something that was similar to Paint Tool Sci. I even downloaded Parallel, which is a software that would allow you to run both Mac and Windows on your computer. It was a good solution, but it also did drain my battery really quickly, so I had to find another way to draw. And then I stumbled upon Fire Alpaca. It's like Paint Tool Sci with lower capabilities, but just as straightforward. Honestly, all it took was just some getting used to, and I did, and I never looked back. My third philosophy is that improvement takes a lot of practice and patience. One thing that I did when I started using Fire Alpaca was draw a lot. I went to an artist forum and did a lot of freebies for people on that website. They got free artwork, I got to practice, and I also got some publicity. I also like going to public areas, preferably the bus or the train, and just draw random people while trying not to look creepy. People have distinct styles and what better way to learn about drawing people by actually drawing people. Now this really only works if you're on a really long bus ride or if you could draw really quickly, but it's hard. So a great practicing tool I like to use for drawing poses is using Pose Maniac. The great thing about Pose Maniac is that it forces you to see how much you can draw in say 15 or 30 seconds and it just trains you on drawing the important features of the body. It's really helpful when you draw people in public transportation, especially since they are always constantly changing their poses and even getting off the bus. Some people pick up the skill of drawing things faster than others, but it's also those who continue to practice and pursue improvement that will actually become successful artists in the future. And finally, this is not a philosophy, but just in general, it's okay to take breaks. I've gone on that year-long break and I came back stronger. The things that I remembered from the past became more ingrained in my natural process and things that I forgot were really easy to pick up again. I definitely couldn't have gone to where I am without the practice, patience, exploring different methods, and being inspired by other artists and the people around me. So I hope you are encouraged um, 
to pursue being an artist, or if you're not interested in art, I hope you're encouraged to pursue anything that you're passionate about, because that's pretty cool.